Hello. I recently got a Tamiya lunchbox kit for Christmas and I built it and today I took it out for a short little run at the cemetery in the vacant lot down the street from the house kicking up some mud which was a lot of fun the lunchbox is completely stock it's got a the uh, Tamiya ESC in it that comes with it it's got a FlySky receiver, it got a FlySky transmitter it's a cool little thing, it's a blast to drive I put a light kit in it, so I've been driving it around the house at night and wanted to see. <clears throat> Sorry for the audio quality, I don't usually do voiceovers and I have a sucky microphone. But this thing sure is a lot of fun to drive. I'm just doing burnouts here in the mud over and over again. Because why not, right? Who's that guy? Out there in flip flops. She gets good wheel spin on the uh, smooth concrete out there. I was having fun. I was having a blast. This truck is so much fun. I haven't painted it yet. I haven't put the decals on it. I may not. I've just, uh, I literally wrote in Sharpie on the side, free candy. And, uh, and painted a green stripe on it so it just wouldn't look completely white. And that is it still has the yellow rims still has the stock shocks in it too here's a couple speed runs through the cemetery down the street from the house she doesn't have good top speed it still has the uh, silver can stock motor in it probably do about 20 mile an hour or so but it's it's fun it's my first RC vehicle hobby grade and I had fun building it and I have a blast driving it. If you're thinking about getting into the RC hobby, I strongly suggest the Tamiya product. Not only do you get to build it to see how the thing works and, and really get to know it, but at the same time, you they, they're very high quality. I did a lot of research into, uh, you know, Traxxas and and even the cheaper ones, you know, uh, Red Cats and Exceed RCs and stuff. And and finally, I just decided to spend a couple extra bucks and get a kit from Tamiya. And the lunchbox is not that expensive. They're only like 100 bucks on Amazon. I did have some shipping problems getting it to me, but, you know, in hindsight, it was well worth it. I uh, really... I silence the volume on all of the uh, FPV footage because the GoPro is sitting right over the top of the motor and uh, it already sounds weird inside the van but with the GoPro inside its housing basically glued to the top of the van just sounded really weird and plus every time I hit the brakes the, uh, the front tires drag on the uh, bottom of the body I've actually got a little bracket coming in to uh, to stop that from happening. Big air. Well, not really. It's not waterproof. I mean, it has a brushed motor in it, which I assume is waterproof because it has direct contact with the uh, with the motor. But still, oh, great. Pardon me. But the ESC isn't waterproof, and neither is the receiver, so I stayed away from puddles. Just got a little bit muddy is all. And it's got a tub chassis, so the electronics are fine in there. Says lunchbox from Tamiya with a light kit. Hit it. 